Hi, in this video we'll see how to play a very basic strum with percussions added. This video is the first of a series in which I will detail the different techniques I use to add rhythm to the chords. Stay until the end for a preview of what's on the next episode. Let's start with the bass drum. The bass drum sound comes from the thumb hitting the top of the body. It is done by a circular motion of the wrist. The part of the thumb making contact is the hard part between the two phalanges. We can now add strumming to the bass drum. Going with the same circular motion, we'll stretch the index finger while gently strumming the strings. We'll start slowly, without straining the strings too much. Offbeat, we'll now return the thumb and index to the starting position while strumming gently the strings with the index on the way back. Now let's do the snare drum. The snare drum sound comes from the index hitting on the top of the body. It's done by a sideway motion coming from the forearm. The index will strum the strings and end its course hitting on the ukulele stop. The part of the index making contact is the flat part of the nail. It can be tricky to strum the four strings and end the motion hitting the top. I advise to keep the index bent and to only hit the bottom strings, E and A. While returning to the starting position, we gently strum the strings with the index on the way back. Now let's combine both techniques. This drum can be interesting to play reggae or ska. For this matter, we will mute the strings on the beat and let them ring off beat. That's it for the basics. For the snare drum, we can also use middle and ring fingers instead of the index. It gives a different sound, with more depth. However, I advise to train with the index, for it will be very helpful for the next episode about quadruple stroke. Feel free to ask any question in the comments below. Bye-bye.